Attention! Please understand the above before you watch. Let's enjoy! Hey guys, I'm Maki Tsurumaki. First of all, what kind of image do you have of the ninja? Oh, black outfit. Fight a lot, like a hero. Breathe fire and shoot shurikens in rapid fire. Perhaps show images are influenced by cartoon and movies. In this article, I would like to explain about the ninja, which is still a mystery even today. It was actually quite recently, around 1955, that the term ninja came to be used. And historically the term shiobi was often used. Shiobi means acting in busy breeze theft and spy. It is believed that the existence of the ninja can be confirmed in historical documents in the rogues of the late 13th century. These rogues were people who rebelled against the control of the Mangono system by the temples and nobles. The ninja has various jobs such as espionage, information manipulation assassination, and sabotage. The most important job is to sneak into enemy territory, gather information about the enemy's situation, return alive and convey that information to the shogun. They were skilled in the art of disguise, disguising themselves as monks, merchants, acrobats, and farmers to sneak into enemy lines. They were able to eavesdrop on conversations, spread lies and rumors, and control the morale of the enemy. When confronted with an enemy, they would basically run away. Ninjutsu illusions and spells were mostly used to escape. However, in case of a tight spot, they used ninjutsu exclusively for combat. They used dead leaves and sand to grind them. They fought with ninja souls, kunai grappling close chain sickles, and many other weapons. They used poison blow guns and shurikens to kill enemies who had seen them. Ninja training was very tough, and many of them started as small children. They planted hemp seeds and jumped over them every day. Hemp grows very fast, they were able to leap as high as 5.9 feet. And they were able to run 100 miles a day to get important information faster and further. The ninja's grip was so strong that they lifted the 132 pound rice bale with only the strength of their fingers. This was so that they could support their own weight when hanging from the ceiling. The ninja were also skilled in handling medicinal herbs, antidotes, and poisons. They were put a small amount of poison in their mouths and were able to identify it. And it seems that some of them actually drank the diluted poison to see how powerful it was and how long the effect would last. The basis of the ninja costume was the noji, a short jacket and hakama worn by farmers when walking in the fields. The ninja costumes were made in various ways to improve ease of movement and functionality. The jacket has many pockets attached to it for quickly retrieving equipment. It is also reversible with different pattern fabric, underneath for quick disguise. Their hands were equipped with metal hand guards to protect them from attack. When you think of a ninja, you probably have an image of a ninja wearing a black costume. However, wearing black during the day is like saying, I am a ninja. On the contrary, black clothes were more noticeable at night when it was bright. Also, dyeing clothing black was expensive and uncommon. Ninja costumes were mainly shibakake color, in which the clothes was dyed with the extracts of astringent pigments. This was the color of the clothes that ordinary people often wore. There was also a cool way color that was dyed with water or mud that contained more iron. Astringent pigment dyeing strengthens fabrics and has waterproof and antiseptic effects. Extracts of astringent pyman can be used to treat burns, frostbite, lower blood pressure, and prevent hangovers. It has also been used as a neutralizer for poisonous insects such as centipedes, bees, and vipers. The salt used by the ninja was called an into. Japanese salts have a blade length of about 2.3 feet but Minto was shorter, about 1.3 feet. 
In addition, Minto does not have the coverage of the brain that Japanese souls have called Soi. Since Ninto was designed for indoor fighting, they focused more on stabbing than cutting. But... Phew! A master like him cut down his enemy. Another feature was the tip of the scabbard was sharp and made of metal. It was used to scale walls and fences when stuck into the ground and used as a step. The metal part was detachable and by removing it and using the scabbard as a snorkel, it was possible to move through the water. On the other hand, if they carried the Japanese sword with an unusual shape, there was a risk that people would notice that they were ninjas. Therefore, there is a theory that there were no specially shaped ninja souls and in fact, the ninja used ordinary Japanese souls. Next up, shuriken. Shurikens are often associated with ninja weapons, but their main purpose was not to attack. In fact, shurikens were often used by ninja to distract their enemies and escape by hitting them while running away. The name shuriken also means a soul struck from behind the hand. Sometimes the blade of the shuriken was embedded with fecal matter or acne poison, which could cause tetanus. This was done in order to kill the enemy even if the shuriken just grazed them. There are two types of shuriken, the familiar Hiragata shuriken and the bow shuriken, which looks like a needle or nail. The Hiragata shuriken has a sharp blade. At the cross section it was made from iron sheets and was a heavy and bulky object. They were not suitable for carrying, and basically only three or four shurikens were carried at most. It is said that the ninja never threw many shurikens in a row in the history of the world. These are characterized by the fact that they are easy to stabilize in flight because they fly by rotating the braid. Compared to bow shuriken, these are said to be easier to hit with a little training. On the other hand, these were easily detected by the enemy due to the wind noise produced by the spinning braids. There are also some drawbacks such as the fact that the wounds are shallow compared to bow shuriken. The bow shuriken is more portable, more deadly and quieter than the Hiragato shuriken. The bow shuriken requires skill to adjust the rotation force according to the distance between you and the enemy. This is a powerful weapon that can inflict fatal wounds, but it was a difficult weapon to use. Finally, the most important mission of the ninja was to gather information and using a shuriken meant that the enemy had found them and they were in trouble. The ninja themselves must have kept them in their pockets and prayed that they would never get the chance to use them. Thank you for watching guys, did you enjoy this video? If you have any Japanese trivia that you want to know, please feel free to comment on it. See you in the next video, bye bye!